Great to have these guys coming in to some rounds of applause there. We are proud of you guys. So uh, nice to be here with you today. I'm Dr. Rachel. I get to serve as the president of Calvary Christian Academy and excited to be here with you uh, celebrating these eighth graders today who have uh, finished their middle school time. And um, it's going to be a great time that we get to, to honor them. And so glad to have all of our families and uh, teachers here with us. How about a big round of applause for our teachers who lead these students day in and day out. The other ones who are on the front lines making it happen for us. And how about a big round of applause for our parents who drive the kids here, pick them up, help them at home, make it all possible. And, uh, and of course, we got to give a round of applause for our graduates. So another round of applause for these guys here because they're graduating eighth grade. Really proud of you guys. You guys have probably figured out by now that Calvary Christian Academy, we are about making disciples through a school environment that prepares students to glorify God spiritually, academically, and socially. So that means we're going to have an amazing school that really teaches kids incredibly, but woven all through that is pointing them to Jesus Christ and helping them to hopefully desire to become a disciple themselves and to follow him with all their heart. We can't make it happen, but we can do all we can to guide you towards that, invite you towards that. And so many of you guys are doing an awesome job, not only academically, but following after Christ. And for that, we're extremely excited. So really glad to be together today and to have this time uh, to celebrate these, these students together. I want to, at this time, invite Demi Dania to lead us in prayer. Good morning, everyone. My name is Demilade Denio, and I would like you all to stand up for a word of prayer, please. Dear God, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for bringing all of us here to celebrate the accomplishments and achievements of all of our eighth graders, Lord. I pray that once we get to high school, Lord, we can grow even more spiritually, Lord. I pray that we can become good leaders, Lord. I pray that we can also lead each other well, Lord, and make the right decisions, Lord. Thank you for bringing all of us here today, Lord. Help this ceremony to go well, Lord. Thank you for everything you've done for us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Good morning and good afternoon. My name is Daniel, and I will be reciting the Pledge to the American Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. My name is Naima Chandler, and I will be saying the pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. Hi, my name is Julie Delzins. I will be reciting the pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty for all who believe. Hi, my name is Ethan Fishbein, and I will be reciting Isaiah 58, 11. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose water never fail. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the eighth grade recognition. We're gonna take this time right now to get into some worship. I ask if you all can remain standing. If you know the song, sing along. If not, allow God to just touch into your hearts.
name is Ms. Chady, and at this time we will be presenting our 8th grade academic awards. We will start with our top student for Bible, Sky Talmash. Our top student for English, Daniel Adinojobi. Our top student for pre-algebra, Joy McMillian. Our next top student for Algebra 1, Sky Talmash. Our top student for science, Daniel Adinojobi. Our top student for U.S. history, Julie Delson. Our next top student for art, Daniel Adinojobi. Our top PE student, Danny Dania. Our top STEM student, Jediah Dalbo. And our top computer student, Ethan Fishbein. And now we will move on to honor roll. These are students who've maintained a 3.66 to 3.33 GPA. Students, as you hear your names, please come up to the stage. Permisha B. Aim. Kaylin Brown. Desmi Bullock. Naima Chandler. Valentina Chapas. Zayel Flowers. Isaac Joseph, Ryan Monroy, and Vladimir Prodovich. And now we will move on to our high honor roll students. These are students who've maintained a GPA of 4.0 to 3.67. Daniel Adinojobi, Demi Dania, Julie Delzins, Ayana Extra, Ethan Fishbein, Nyla Lewis, Joy McMillian, David Sehas, Taylor Shaw, Jaden Smith, Sky Talmaj, and Matthew Zuniga.
move to our principals list. This student has achieved all A's. Jediah Delbo. And now we'll move to our Presidential Award for Educational Excellence. This means that the following students have maintained a minimum of a 3.5 GPA and a minimum of the 80th percentile on reading and or math or on a standardized test. Daniel Adinojobi, <laughs> Jediah Delbo, David Sehas, <laughs> Sky Talmash, <laughs> Julie Delzin, <laughs> Nyla Lewis, Joy McMillian and Matthew Zuniga. At this time, we will be conferring the certificates for all of our 8th grade students as they have successfully completed the 8th grade. <laughs> Daniel Adinojobi. <laughs> Joshua Ayoadi. Emilio Barajas. <laughs> Promisha BNA. Anthony Brito. <laughs> Kaylin Brown. Desmi Bullock. <laughs> Naima Chandler. <laughs> Valentina Chapas. <laughs> Damilari Dania. Jediah Delbo. <laughs> Julie Delson. <laughs> Ayana Extra. <laughs> Ethan Fishbein. Zayel Flowers. <laughs> Raul Goicochea. <laughs> Jesse Jones the third. Isaac Joseph. Isaac. Nyla Lewis. <laughs> Gabby Lopez. <laughs> J. 
Joy McMillian. Cruz Miko. Ryan Monroy. Marcus Upsaint. <laughs> Vladimir Prodivish. <laughs> David Sehas. <laughs> Taylor Shaw. Jaden Smith. Sky Talmash. Amir Valadaris. Jasmine Vega. Camila Vera. And Matthew Zuniga. Let's give our eighth grade students a round of applause. All right. I believe now is the time, Ms. Chady, correct me if I'm wrong, now is the time for me to welcome them to high school. Wow. All right, eighth grade students, um, I wanna share something really quick with you guys. Right now, I have a bag of clay. Jeremiah 18, God tells the prophet to go down to the potter's house and there he will find a message. In middle school years, you're like this clay, without shape, without form, not sure who you are. And now you're about to take another step in your spiritual, academic, and social journey to high school. And high school will provide some more shaping, but a, a foundation has been set in middle school by Ms. Acevedo and your other teachers, and now you will begin to take shape as you become high school freshmen. Let's give them a round of applause, high school freshmen. So as you are on this journey of being shaped and your character is being built by Christ, we want to congratulate you. We want to say that you have successfully met all of the middle school requirements to be considered high school freshmen. You have met the spiritual requirements, um, having Bible classes, chapel, and small groups, and also allowing Jesus to be a part of your life and open to what he's doing in your life. Also, the academic requirements, again, from your IREDIS assessments with Ms. Edwards and your other teachers, and doing that on a regular basis, which is also available this summer. So just, just so that you know, you can continue with your IREDIS. But you have met all of your academic requirements. And also, socially, you guys have come together as a group. Many of you I met in the sixth grade, and I know, sixth grade, and I know your parents from just calls over the years, and now, sitting in front of us now, we have 30-plus high school freshmen. So congratulations on your transition. I will continue to be your principal, so that's not going to change um, as the Lord wills, but you will continue to, to see familiar faces in high school, and we are so happy for you, for one, you have made the transition, but we get to welcome another group of sixth grade students because you guys are out, all right? So we have space for more sixth grade students. 
So welcome to high school. We look forward to all of the events, homecomings, football games. I mean, the list goes on and on that you get to do in high school. So at this time, we're going to have our upper school head of school is going to come and close us out in prayer. Please welcome Mr. Mills. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. One thing, I don't know if this has been bothering you, but it's, it's bothering me, so I gotta, I gotta write this. That bother you? Is that like something that, oh man, all that wind that came by as you walked by to get your uh, medals, students, you got your, your conferring diploma, or the conferred diplomas, knock that over. So I'm back in order, hopefully you are too. We're almost done, thank you. But guys, it's so neat to be with you, eighth graders, because this is a milestone. Now, you might be like, oh, thanks, Mr. Martinez. It's going to get harder from here. And in many ways, you already probably knew that. But, yeah, it's going to be challenging. Why? Because we're called to be lifelong learners. We're called to continue to grow. And we're called to be, as, as Christians, continuously molded and shaped. So middle school was a lot of that clay and a lot of that work that, that's been done, as you heard from Mr. Mitchell and, and you heard about as he, he spoke about Jeremiah 18, and the, na the nature of just what God's doing in our lives is shaping us up for hopefully what will be at the end, him saying to us, well done, good and faithful servant. Now that comes with us making a commitment to him and us actually being from our end responsible. But what I hope and pray high school can be for you is that clay that's continually be mold continuing to be molded, maybe at the end would look more like what would come out of art class. A pot that actually has shape, contour, some glazing and coloring after the kiln. And yet at the same time, it was a little bit of a painful process. Both for the artist as well as for the clay itself to get here. It had to be molded and shaped. It had to be heated up really, really high or to a hot temperature. Has there been times where you've been told from your parents or from your teachers or from others, hey, quit doing that? Has there been times where it's felt a little bit hotter, maybe even than what this room feels like right now? And you're kind of like, ah, I just want to run away from the situation because I'm being told that I did something wrong. Or whatever it was, right? We were in hot water in the sense of like sometimes what a phrase is. Yeah, that's real in our life. And that's what this represents. It's got to go through a process in order to get there. But what I love about that is it says in Isaiah about clay and about what happens in this way. Let me see if I can find it real fast. It says this. It says, um, we are in the potter's hands. It's being shaped. So Isaiah 64, 8. Now, O Lord, you are the father. We are the clay. You are the potter. But I love how it ends. We are the work of your hand. See, oftentimes, we're the work of our own hands. And that's our flesh. But as Christians and as ones who have learned about Jesus, which has happened for you, whether it's one year at CCA or it's been all of the five years of CCA, even maybe back to HCES before that, or coming in from another school, you've had this opportunity to be molded by the hands of our Father. And yet, at the same time, we have to choose to do so. So I love some of the testimonies shared, where that happened in, I'm sure, some of your lives within this last year. There might be some of you who still yet are wrestling with, does, does this actually make sense? Do I believe it? And you're not maybe quite ready for the, the clay to be molded by the Father's hands. That's great. Keep seeking as you go. That's the heart that we have. But I want to tell you this, students, and families as well. I hope that you walk out of here overwhelmingly in the sense of what you feel, knowing that